Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're back with another Amiga thing. Today we're working on the 1200, and I got a package here from uh, the United Kingdom. This is from Amiga Kit, and whoops, and we're booting my uh, the 1200 up right now. It still has the Apollo inside, and I found that it actually, well, you probably already saw the video because this will come out afterwards. The Apollo card has a weird feature where it is 8 megs, not 4. And I also have PCM CIA support with the 8 megs. With the 3031 ROMs, there was an issue with a memory addressing where anything over 4 megs, you could not use your PCM CIA card. This has been upgraded to a Transcend 4 gig. So you can see here, 7.44 meg and uh, 2 mega chip. And everything works, my eye game works, and everything seems to be okay. And it's been fine. Um, this is the stock uh, 68020, 14 megahertz. The only thing the Apollo does is give me RAM. And here's all of my eye game stuff, and you know, whatever. So it's been running fine. Everything's been great. I put best workbench on it with the 314. You know, upgrade pack. This is a 3.1.4.1 on a 3.1.4 ROM. Everything's great. So, what's in the box? This should be my accelerator, or not my. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. This is a A1200 8 meg fast RAM FPU 40 megahertz 6882 and a real time clock. Let's open it up. Mm. You get some instructions here. Real-time clock module for the 600 and the 1200 uses a 1220 lithium. That's a little tiny guy. And you get a oh, little Amiga kit anti-static label in an anti-static bag. Speaking of anti-static, let me put on my foot strip. All right, so my ankle bracelet's on here, and we have the 2020 production. The let me get 1200, 8 mega RAM, uh, 6882 at 40 megahertz on the clock. I don't know if you can read that. Um, yep, and there's the RTC module. That's the little tiny 1220 battery. And it wouldn't be a video without my hot water heater on. So, let's... Uh, Let's put this turret in and see uh, how it goes. Out with the Apollo. The board comparison is much smaller. Look at that. Hang on, I'm having some fitment issues. Ugh, what the hell is going on? This 1200 slot is like fatter. Ooh. Well, it's like hitting on something. It's not hitting on the motherboard itself or on the plastic. It's hitting right here on the corner on the plastic. Oh yeah, it's just a little bit taller. The original 1200 slot. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's about three millimeters taller. That three millimeters is just the difference between this corner casing of the plastic right here and uh, fitting. Yay! Oh my god. Alright. I'm bending the sh** out of it. Okay. Well. It fits. It's bent down this way. And I had to take the damn board out. Alright, 
I'm not putting anything back together. Why bother? I will slap the lid on because I had to unscrew the board to get that ex heightened. The slot was higher, so with the two screws for the motherboard out of the case there, this didn't line up. So it's it's not connected, but it's slid in until we can boot. And you know, and then I'll push it in. We have a mouse, we have eight megs of RAM. First we're gonna run uh which Amiga. Do 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 we are 14 we are we just lost everything. There we go. Okay, that was weird. 14.2 megahertz. We have no FPU, no MMU. Uh clock found eight megs of RAM. Um isn't this supposed to have an FPU in it? What the heck? Great. What does the old sysinfo say? FPU none. Okay, so there's got to be a jumper setting I need to do. So I got to take this out again. It's supposed to have an FPU in here, and it doesn't. It does, but it's not being seen. Ever so carefully take this out again. Okay, there's two jumpers, FPU and RAM, off for 5.5 or 8. Has a JTAG header, power light, RTC, clock port expansion. Now I could put the clock port actually on the clock port. I have the full clock port, but you know. So we're back in for the third time with the FPU turned on int. I don't know what the difference is between internal or external. Is it external because it's on the card? Don't know. We're going to find out. And if I have to jump with this again, I'm just doing it from the belly slot. Because the cover's off. 8 megs of RAM. We're going to go DH1. We're going to go sysinfo. We're going to say, okay, now we have the 6882. We're going to hit speed. Speed. 15.5 megahertz so it does uh, flip it up a little bit let's quit that well we'll expand here because woohoo we are a little bit faster than the 1200 actually almost double 2.33 times according to wrong info memory we have 8 megs of 24 bit and 2 megs of 24 bit chip so I have a total of 10 megs on board now boards this is a 8 meg Zoro 2, manufacturer 5150. I have this weird mouse thing. We're going to run Witch Amiga 080 that I took off the Vampire. 14.2, 14.2. Why is it a 40 megahertz FPU if it's 14.2? I don't get it. 60.82, it says 40, but it's 14.2. Unknown manufacturer, unknown products. Your computer's a 1200. Block found. Wait a minute, I didn't set that. 2.36 p.m. Cool. I guess they said it when they tested it. Uh, a little bit concerned about that FPU not reporting the correct megahertz. So, great. No, 8082, 14 megahertz. So the FPU is marked off. Now it's on X. It was on internal. And we're green lighting flashing fast. And we get a ROM error. So, CPU error. So it has to be on internal. And I don't know why it's got a 40 megahertz chip and a 40 megahertz FPU. If you can't use it, yeah, 68, 40, and a 40 megahertz clock. Rebooting one more time, fifth, sixth time, I don't know. Amiga Kit, Amiga Store, A1200 and A4000 are trademarks of Amiga Kit. Really? So that is the Amiga Kit 8 megabyte FPU uh, Amiga 1200 belly slot upgrade. Uh, would I recommend it? Problem I have and I had with this is 
it's tight. It's really tight, and the top part of the slot right here is getting hit. Um, I mean, it's it's working totally fine. The clock works. Everything's great. Solder quality is good. There's a little bit of flux on it, but hey, this is a massive pin. Side by side with the Apollo, circuit board to circuit board. But trust me, it is just a couple millimeters longer and that is uh, hitting the wall right here so I take the screws out and kind of wedge this in here like this and and get it in and I think it's overall a pretty good purchase if you're a gamer and you want to play some WHD load games when you're Amiga 1200 BAM you can't beat this so check out Amiga Kit store I'm not sponsored by them at all trust me you know if you want to sponsor me you can. but other than that that's all I got for now. I'm going to plop this back together and put her back over on the collection table and we'll play with it some more. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.